Hello, YouTube. Thursday, October 24th. We're sitting about 2.30 in the afternoon. Uh, that's what I got left. A uh, little slower today. Uh, this is being hauled to horse. Our nearby location is basically full. Uncle's hauling a few loads in between to that location is basically full. They're hauling corn out, but they're, we got two semis here. They're making a hour and 20 minute round trip to a near another location that's loading the train. Uh, so that's alleviating that, but just taking a little bit longer than we planned, but no big deal. I mean, we're gonna get done in no time. Uh, no worry. Uh, semi, the, la the next to last semi just left. Uh, my uncle just left with his load going to Westfield. Uh, yeah, he, yeah, he, no, I, he's still there right now. I guess I still see him there right now. I see the truck still here. Um, so, yep, he's getting ready to leave to go out there. I'm just uh, shelling a full hopper full here and go back out to the green cart and unload it. And come back and I got eight rows. No, I got 16 rows over there to go grab. And then all I got left is there over there in that strip. Three acres. I don't think the cart combine will hold it. I don't think. Uh, I'll know here shortly, but I don't think it will. Uh, but I got an empty truck there anyway as well, so no big deal on that. Uh, so yeah, so no big deal on that. So that's uh, pretty easily should be no problem to make sure we get her all on, make sure I got a full load for the semi that's coming back. Uh, all in all, and this one's doing very, very well as well. I mean, we're north of 250. Uh, it's not doing as good as the other farm was about two mile west, which is that way. Or well, it'd be about a mile or three quarter mile. Uh, but better ground and no trees. Uh, the trees are the killer. Uh, deer and coons was horrible here. They're always bad right on the other side of that tree line, but they were really bad here in this one. I mean, that's just, yeah. Uh, it is uh, twisted up a little bit. Not down, but twisted up some. Uh, but not bad. Uh, So I guess once we get this done, or get this done, I'll make my way home. Well, when the semi gets here, I'll make my way home, uh, get everything unloaded. Uh, we're going to maybe hopefully get some augers put up and out of the way and done and forgot about. So while we got uh, other guys on his way out here now, so we can kind of get some of that stuff done and out of here with help and. I may see if he can stay here a little bit and get the rip, help me get the ripper set up if we got enough time. I'm wanting to kind of get the ripper set up while I got help. Uh, once I know where it's got to be in the settings, I mean, I've got it where it needs to be, it says in the book, but uh, just kind of need somebody outside watching as well to know how level you are. Because every time I get out and look, every time I get out and look, yeah, it looks good to me, but that don't mean it's good. So I want to have somebody there uh, just to be sure. Uh, from the cab view, it looks like it's nose diving to me, but uh, the other two did say that's what it always kind of looked like when you had it picked up too. So that could be my in my head too as well. But uh, we shall see. Ho hopefully by six o'clock we're trying it. Is my hope and seeing what it does or seeing how it does or yeah. Uh, that's kind of my hope. My game plan, will it happen? Don't know. Uh, good hope, good game plan. So we shall see. Uh, sorry, got a little close. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if the cart and the semi will hold that or not. I don't know if the cart and the combine will hold that or not. I don't know. Yeah, let's see. I show a thousand bushel left, so no, if that's the case, no. Uh, and it should be the good run I got left too, so we shall wait them. Oh, it, I might not have a full combo. We'll see here shortly. 
Uh, so yeah, so we shall see and kind of go from there. Uh, this is 111.35 as well, uh, rib. Uh, good corn. Uh, have not seen any of the scale tickets. This was the last corn we planted. Uh, it was planted on May 20th. I'm calling it 16.3. Uh, this was the stuff that was also 14. So I'd almost say I'm a little... I'd say we're 15 easy. I should have texted the lady and seen what it was testing. Uh, but yeah, kind of go from there. But uh, calling for a little bit of light showers tomorrow, or well, in the morning, first thing. Uh, I hope to cut 25 acres of double crop beans tomorrow, or whatever, or at least cut till five or so. Uh, that is my hope to at least cut a few. Yeah, that ain't gonna hold it. That ain't gonna hold it at all. Uh, not way that looks. Uh, yeah, my hope is to at least cut a few double crop beans tomorrow, pending the rain. Uh, we're gonna put them into a bin anyway. Uh, so if it, if we could cut them, no big deal. Uh, I'll get the combine ready to cut beans tomorrow, which is just uh, change the chopper speed, put the fine cut in. Uh, change the residue deflector to push it more to the side or in, however you want to say, and change the cab. So uh, I can have that. Done. I can do that in the shop in the morning first thing if it's kind of sprinkling, drizzling, whatever. Uh, I'll probably take the bean head down to the field, so that way it's just down there and down there and out of the way. Uh, kind of my hope. Get that down there and out of the way. Uh, let's see, trying to fill the video, I guess. More banter or chatter, I guess. Uh, huh. Uh, oh, uh, last night was picking. The wife was riding since kids were at uh, Awana's deal. So the wife was riding last night, and I noticed kind of the deck plate quit moving. I thought, well, hey, a damn thing got froze up on me. Uh, but I always, every time I leave the field, I always open them up and close them. I always do. Always, always have did that just to kind of keep them looped up and all that. Still clean it, clean it all out every we get done and all that. And I notice, well, heck, it's not moving. It's just stuck wide open. Uh, on the way out here this morning to the field, uh, it was very, very wet. I'm like, well, I'll call them and see what they say. Uh, I couldn't see anything wrong. I kind of thought, well, broke a bust little line. I could hear it trying to move, but nothing moving. Uh, called them. They uh, came out, and I broke the little pin that where the slide's on. Figure that out. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, we had a bolt we made work. Get to go. Uh, they're going to order the pin, which they said never had. Broke it or lost it. We, uh, who knows? Who uh, knows? I mean, if it broke, you're never going to find it. If it fell out, I mean, I mean, yeah, that's never, I mean, that ain't been out of there since it was put together at the factory and for it to last that long, but whatever. I mean, I'm just guessing it broke. It's my assumption. I mean, it is what it is, what it is, whatever it did, it did. I mean, it's no big deal now. It's over with. Uh, so we got a bolt in there now, which is working fine. Uh... Doing good, getting along here. Slow today, but slower. But get some augers put up and all that. That'll be a big help. Uh, get them all put up, put away, out of sight, out of mind. Uh, we've got an older auger we're going to use for beans. We got one auger that's near a bin site that we always use a swing away to load beans out. So we're just going to leave it real close to there. And that way it's basically already there. That just makes it simpler for us, and uh, yeah, we, we're gonna we gonna we're gonna when we, when we sell beans, we're gonna pull beans out of that. But anyway, to get it out of there, uh, so that'll that'll be nice. It'll be right there close. Uh, that'll be the only the only auger we won't have at home. Yeah, everything else will be at home, so that'll be nice. That'll be there. Uh, I guess go do some groundwork. Uh, I'd say Saturday night I'll probably start the chisel pile, we'll unhook the grain cart, it's my plan. Uh, Saturday evening we'll unhook the grain cart, 
I hope to kind of rip some this evening, uh, rip some tomorrow then. If it's not raining, pending the rain, we will go from there. Uh, might go mow around some fields, uh, fields, ditches, kind of get that all done. Because, yeah, I'm way, 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 way behind on that. And just kind of keep the rip, keep the guy in the river going if he wants to rip some Sunday. Because, uh, yeah, I'm going to run out of acres very quickly with nothing mowed. Uh, let's see here. Just kind of go from there, I guess. That's about all you can do. Uh, got a big chunk. I might want to take the ripper out there because they're saying rain coming in Wednesday. So I might want to go out there and kind of get it, uh, start on it maybe Monday try and push real hard with 180 acres. I mean, yeah, I can get that done in two days. Easy, yeah, because so 80 acres a day, give or take, uh, go from there. But can go out and get all that done, uh, be that out, be out of the way, and be kind of more closer home. Got some ground near Marshall. I want to chisel plow it. I want to chisel plow a lot more this year, just kind of vice versa and things around, kind of flipping things around. Uh, so kind of want to get some of that done. Uh, got one for in Marshall. Well, I do want to chisel, like I said, but I don't know if I can get the chisel pot of golden ground on the end rooms. So I kind of want to wait for a little bit of rain. That would make it go a lot better and kind of go in the ground better. I know it's just going to be hard. Uh, but once I do once I do around here, I'll kind of see how that's going to go too. And I'll know a lot more how that's going to portray out too. Uh, it would all work better after a half inch or an inch of rain, but you're not going to wait for that. Uh, the field cultivator, probably not even going to try it. Uh, I, I want to use it, but man, I think it was telling the neighbors asking me if we tried it yet, and I'm like, oh, it's the harrow's all unhooked, it's all ready to use. I just, I just don't want to hook on to it, and it won't work, and then I've wasted my time, and then it's just kind of. I'm pulled away from the hair and I can't just slap things all back on together and go. Uh, and don't want to get it dirt. I don't want to run five acres and it not work. So uh, I know I can do 75 acres easy if it would rain. Because uh, it's been, it, it was worked, it was come on earlier ahead of the hurricane, so it's beat down, or not beat down, but it's uh, kind of matted the trash down and sat there a while. Uh, the other's all been cut for a while, but uh, it it just needs a rain on it to kind of stick that stubble so it's not kind of I guess I'll say fluffy uh, it works a lot better if it's going to get some rain on it just works so much better like everything else does but disc and you ain't got to worry about it but if I had a good rain I know I know I could cultivate it just not sure we're going to get that chance uh, we'll probably just start discing we got some corn on corn to disc I don't know what to do though but it's just kind of hard to go disc it when you don't know uh, yeah that's just the unknown fact of not knowing what the weather's going to do for you. So yeah, who knows? I don't know what I'm making, but it did. Uh, so yeah, so we'll see. Uh, I probably got enough here to top the grain cart off or come real close to it. So I'll end this video here, but I'm under three acres here. Uh, I might get her all on a trip. Yeah, that one here's any darn way. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's any darn way, but yeah, we shall see. Uh, but anyway, by five o'clock, we ought to be done. Uh, and I'm three quarters full, so I had to fill the grain cart. So, yeah, we'll go from there. So, hope y'all enjoy the video, and we'll just take care. And uh, yeah, hope y'all try to do an update tomorrow. Maybe we'll be doing it night with the Ripper if I'm going. So, see you later. Enjoy.